I'm just going to warn you right now, I'm probably going to buzz through these last uh, 25 songs pretty quick. So, because to avoid background noise, I turned off my air conditioning and it's hot as balls out so. <clears throat> Oh, happy 13th wedding anniversary to my lovely wife, Kate. Because, yeah, we got married 13 years ago today when it was also friggin' hot outside. But we are part of the unofficial world record of most weddings in a day, 7707. It's an unofficial record. Because they really don't know if that is a record. But there were a lot of weddings that day. We actually, our church was double booked and the nearest place we could have a reception was Granite Falls, which is 30 miles away from here. So that happened. Let's start the day off with Somewhere from Slow Magic and Women in Hiatus. Woven in Hiatus. That makes more sense. Actually, no, it doesn't. This started out slow and uninteresting and then got fast and also uninteresting. Up next, Toby Lou and Lingo Star, Return of the Dragon. Obviously, the back end of this playlist is full of all the WTF songs. I was going to put Mediocre for this one, but at the same time, it's called Lingo Star, Return of the Dragon. I'm like, come on. Seriously, that's just bonkers enough that i got to put it in the um, OK section. Up next, Snot with a dollar sign, so it's not the old band with Lynn Strait in Can You Help Me? If you're calling yourself Snot, but with a dollar sign, or maybe it's Dollar Knot, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's okay, I guess. Actually, no, it's mediocre. <sighs> Up next, Illy Tommy with Booty, or Booty, however you want to say it. I put this in the okay file because it's only a minute 48. You gotta maximize those streams. Up next, Fontaine's DC with Televised Mind. I like the guitar work on this. Must be a new alt-rock band. I like this. I want to hear more of these guys. I really do like this one. Up next, Washed Out and Time to Walk Away. Eh. It's time to stop listing about two minutes through. Up next, Sally Boy with Sally Boy from the album Sally Boy. Up after the break, I'll tell you the band that holds the record for highest charting song where the song is the name of the group, the name of the song, and the name of the album. Yeah, this song's pretty mediocre. But there actually have been a few songs that qualified for this record. But the highest charting song in history to have the same name of the album, artist, and song is Living in a Box by the band Living in a Box from the album Living in a Box. They were one-hit wonder from the 80s. But no song that has had all those in common has ever been had a higher chart. It was at 18. Up next, La Chica with La Serpentine. La Serpentine from La Chica is La Me. Up next, Norma Jean Martin and Basketball. For a second, I thought it said Basketball. A song about basketball would be crazy. Mm. Much like my basketball skills, it's pretty mediocre. That's being very generous to my basketball skills. Up next, Good Bad Ugly from Elliot Lee. This is okay bordering on great. Good, I mean. Still haven't had a great song this week. And I don't think it's going to be this one either. Here's Killboy, and that's okay. I'll just duck with an F myself. This is actually good. Also, Killboy's a chick, so a lady, a female, a woman. Talking about chicks, man, like Joel McHale used to say. Up next, Quando Rondo and Depression. It's okay. I mean, doing a great song about depression, that's, that's kind of tough to pull off. So you're kind of starting behind the eight ball there. Up next is No Love for the Middle Child and Wasting Time. A remake of the Kid Rock song, I'm sure. This is surprisingly up-tempo and good. Kind of a long name for a group, though. Up next, Cold War Kids. You already know. It's pretty good. I haven't liked a lot of their stuff recently, but this is really good. It's now Hang Me Out to Dry! I mean, that was pretty epic. Up next, Billy Currington. He's Seaside. Pretty sure Hank didn't do it that way, Billy. <laughs> Up next, Emmy Elliott with Innocent. As the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict, I have. Guilty or innocent. Innocent! Feed him to the Shocktacons! Quoting Transformers, the movie is slightly more interesting than this song. Up next, Sky McCreary, and if you leave. This is a remake of OMD. It's not a remake of uh, OMDs if you leave, which is good because, god damn, is it slow. 
Oof. This is the kind of song, a song raced a pregnant woman had come in third. Up next, Filthy Rich with Yellow Beezy and No Questions. Mmm, Lady in the Streets, Freak in the Sheets. Boy, that was, a uh, that was unique about a decade and twelve ago. <sighs> okay, I guess. Up next, Bekthrula. BK the Ruler. I'm gonna go with BK the Ruler in summer. A neat little thing with like almost like a backwards track playing in the background. It's like zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz